For more videos like this, please subscribe. You been through here before? No, not, not here. Okay, so when I wave you forward, okay. I need you to hit that like seven, seven or eight hours an hour. Okay? Seven or eight hours? When I, when I motion you forward, okay. I need you to go on between seven and eight hours an hour. Uh, okay, uh, don't uh, go too slow or too fast. Keep it between seven and eight or seven and ten. Okay. YouTube, try stars, try stars, trucking. Thanks for tuning in. And in this video, we are going to reveal some stuff. And it's all about fuel, it's all about cheap loads. This video is packed with information that you, as a trucker, need to know if you don't know already. Now, I encourage you to watch this video to the end because it's, it's a type of vlog fuel reasoning tour you know I, I i i put a lot in this one but let's get to the real point is landstar fuel discount worth it is is this does all these numbers and all these bragging about Landstar L cap discount does it make sense does it really work out for you you know what I mean also cheap loads $1.56 $1.56 does this even make sense now in this video I'm gonna carry you through a 2309 mile vlog meaning I am coming all the way from Utah to Montreal. This load is about fuel, mileage, cheap loads, everything. If this is going to make sense, please stay tuned. Somewhere in this video, in the middle or the end, somewhere, we're going to talk about the numbers. And I'm going to definitely show you guys everything, break it down, write down smoothly. So thanks for tuning in. You know, it's a boy, Troy Star Struck in. Thank you for being here. Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be YouTube! Try stars, try stars, trucking Thanks for tuning in now, in this video, we are going to go for a pickup in Utah, and then we are, well, we are in Utah at the moment, but this pickup is the cheapest load I ever carry for a Landstar. This load is paying $1.56 per mile, and we're going to break this down. As soon as I get to the pickup, as soon as I have the load in hand, I'm going to break down everything with you guys talk with you guys explain everything that is going on it is 2300 miles to destination from utah and this load is paying three thousand six hundred dollars right i know it's not a lot and I, I i know for sure i don't i'm i'm not sure if this if if i'm gonna lose or if, if i'm gonna make anything i just for fuel but you guys will definitely know i take this load because there's no other load here going back so I took this load by sitting down, I, I took this load, so I'm going to take it to Montreal and then we're going to see how much fuel I burn. We're going to also see the journey. So we're going to, we're going to do a lot. Well, not a lot, but we're going to do it. So thanks for tuning in. There's a boy, Troy Stars, trucking. So we're going to break this down later. Not, not later, but the next episode, we're going to talk about this. All right. So thanks for tuning in. Troy Stars. <laughs> Yes, YouTube. So I'm here at my pickup in uh, at the in in Utah. Okay, so this is the map that they give me for inside the building. Okay. 
we are right here at the moment right here so we're gonna go in we're gonna go and stop at the stop sign for the stop sign stop again go all the way around and then we are going to go right in this area which is the warehouse that we are going to load you said that we see a lot of dry vans there or something like that so this is the map that we should follow Try stars, try stars, trucking. Thanks for tuning in. I'm I'm actually loading, so that's why I'm vibrating and jerking up. But anyway, this trip is all about fuel. And I always want to do a trip like this, you know what I mean? And this is the chance I get, and I'm going to do it. Now, this is the cheapest load I ever carry with Landstar, right? This load is paying $1.00. 59 cent per mile i'm getting three thousand six hundred dollars in total well three thousand six hundred dollars for the trip right landstar money do not come out of this yet the fuel do not come out of this yet and the miles i have is two thousand three hundred plus miles right i'm going to make sure i put the address in to give you guys the correct information on the miles right the next thing I want to talk about is why, okay, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because um, I always wanted to document uh, how my truck burn on fuel the right and proper way. And I just recently fixed my fuel gauge. I have a video on my channel. I should have a video on my channel by the time this is released. I, I changed my fuel, um, the, the filter, the gauge that was in the tank was was giving me some bad reading but i know my truck was burning based on the computer and what it was saying but now i can watch the needle itself because it's giving me a proper and a correct a accurate reading now in this trip basically well in well with this trip and the fuel consumption basically um i um i'm gonna maximize my my ability of getting cheaper fuel based on the Landstar app. So I'm gonna use that app to make sure I fuel at the cheapest fuel station at the level that I'm at, like at the area that I'm at, the cheapest gas station, if I really need gas, right? I'm gonna fill my tank there. But I really wanna start this, tr this trip with a full tank of fuel so that you guys could see definitely what is happening what the outcome is like and everything right so this trip like i said is about fuel consumption so let's talk about the truck it's a 2013 volvo it have 1.6 1.6 million 642 so let me show you guys a proof so that you guys don't have to listen to what i said you can see it yourself so in it so look at it i'm jerking up anyway Look at it, it's 1.6, right? 1.664209 km, right? So now that you guys see what it is, um, now that you guys see what exactly I'm talking about, you guys know that there's a lot of miles on the truck. You guys already know I use arms oil in my truck, right? Arms oil I use. And the next thing is i want to make sure i you know give you guys the, the everything with this trip you know what i mean i know i'm gonna burn fuel i know it's a long journey um it's 3600 landstar cut I've, haven't come out as yet well the guy gave me 600 dollars for fuel and he gave me 200 for loaded and 200 for offloading right so it's like thousand dollars basically i got now it's only 2600 leave so the 2000 35 percent from the 2000 is for landstar 35 percent from the 2000 where's my calculator i'm gonna calculate it and let you guys know how much so 35 percent from the 2600 35 percent out of it is for landstar so whatever leave plus the fuel that i'm burning 
and everything and how much I buy for fuel, then I will know how much money I'll be getting from this trip. Now, this is the cheapest trip I ever carry for Landstar with this type of mileage, right? And it all because of the outcome of me going to Calgary and the loads coming back. So I take one load from Utah, from one load from Calgary, let's build Cal Calgary to uh, Utah and then one hour away from where I do the, the drop the delivery last night one hour away is this pickup that I'm doing right now going back to Montreal I'm, I'm not I don't think I'm gonna do a blog like you, you guys know who are already following my channel know I do weekly vlogs so I I'm not sure if I get the chance to I will but I will do more vlogging of just the fuel we, we just paying attention to fuel at this point because fuel next thing i want to mention is my truck is governed at 105 i don't want to go faster i go slower at times but this highway that i'm at in utah you you're talking about 80 miles per hour you can drive 75 that's what you can drive out here so i'm going extremely slow according to the other trucks that is flying by but i'm good because it's the when you keep it at one level you will save fuel you know what i mean so I'm okay with what my truck is running at. Now, as you guys know, there's a lot of miles on the truck, older truck, you know what I mean? Maybe a, new, a newer truck will give you a better consumption in fuel. But I'm doing this now because I always wanted to do a real document on fuel because earlier my fuel gauge wasn't working, but now it's accurate. You know what I mean? So we're going to do this together and you guys tell me what you think. And also the next reason for this video is most of you guys may want to know about carrying a cheap load and how it can work or if you should even see a cheap load at the board and even take it if it even makes sense you know what i mean so this is what this video is about and not saying i choose to carry this load because i want to do a vlog on it the real reason was i didn't want to sit down there wasn't any other loads showing up on that board and i want to get moving so my intention was to get a cheap load to buy fuel to get me home. Now, let me see if I could get more than fuel from this load, right? So it's 3600 I'm getting $1,000 out of the money. 2600 leave. Landstar, um, going to take 35% from the two six. So you guys know the maths, you know what I mean? So let's see how much I burn. I'm, I'm going to write down, I'm going to get my, uh, uh, my book already. So I'm going to write down how much liter. How much I burn, how much money I spend for fuel, everything. So I'm gonna give you the total amount that I make from this trip when I get to destination. Thanks for tuning in. You know it's the boy Troy Size so talking, and I'm doing it. I'm doing all this for you guys. You know what I mean? And I just want to say to you guys, thanks once again. You are the one. You are the. You are. The, you are the type of crowd I like. You are the type of people I want to be around. My my. my I love my channel because of you guys. You know what I mean? Based on comments, based on information, based on. The encouragement based on the support you know and based on the the good vibes when i look in my comment area is you guys are amazing man so thanks for tuning in none of the boy try starts talking peace yes peeps so correction and um what i'm taking i'm actually carrying mag magnesium and it is extracted from the salt uh it is a part of the component or the material that goes into aluminum and yeah it's amazing to see what mankind can do right so i'm just gonna show you guys a, a sneak peek when i when i get off the door and show you what's happening at the back so thanks for tuning in Troy stars Okay guys, so this is the address I put to compare routes. So as you can see, it, you have uh, 2,800 miles on the blue side and on the green side you have 2,319 miles with $18 for toll, US dollars. So that's not bad. Let's, let's click in and see what border I'm crossing. Proceed to the highlighted route. I'm crossing a Port Huron. I don't want to cross a port you and let me click on it and let me see if I could cross it. 
another barter. Proceed to the highlighted route. Uh, Ambassador Bridge, Detroit. That's where, yeah, that's where I would be comfortable crossing. And yeah, so it's three thousand. 2309 miles so there you guys see it and yeah so that's it and we are gonna start the journey I'm not gonna start the fuel look at the fuel as, as yet I'm gonna go to to a, a, a different fuel station well I'm gonna start it from the fuel station and I'm gonna fuel up so I will definitely show you guys the miles and where I'm gonna do a full tank I don't want to do it at three quarter maybe half tank i don't want to do it there so i'm not going to start everything here i'm going to go to the uh, food station first and then we're going to um do the right measurement from there so thanks for tuning in try start <laughs> station that I found on the Landstar app or I would say the Comdata app so here is one dollar and seven cents one dollar seven cents per gallon so I'm gonna fill my tank here um, as you guys know notice maybe I showed this part in, in the last part of the video if I have time I will show it in the first part but the phone versus the GPS the phone take me around and put me on the highway back and said I reached my destination. And the GPS take carry me exactly to where the fuel station is. So sometimes they have the ups and downs, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, this is the address where I'm at. Um, Brother Salt Lake City, California Avenue, whatever, whatever, Utah. So this is where I'm at at the moment. So I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna fuel my truck. Now the purpose of the video is about fuel consumption. So this is where the fuel is at the moment. I'm not gonna count this part in yet because I'm gonna take away this part. Like when I get to destination, I will see how much fuel I have leave. Then I could judge it from there. So I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write down this mileage. And then as soon as I put the fuel in, I'm going to write down how much liter I take. So we already know it's one dollar seven, one dollar and seven cent per gallon. So let's fill up and then see how much is it or whatever. Thanks for tuning in. Try start. Okay, guys. So this is it. I finished fuel. Um, I'm gonna go outside and show you guys what the price I'm seeing currently at the pump on, on the pump and how much is it per gallon on the pump so we're gonna look at that and I'm also gonna take DEF also but we, we, we wasn't we're not watching the DEF we're just doing about fuel 
But anyway, the, the, the price will have to go, you know, much I pay for DEF yeah? because we have, we have to work out everything because it's, it's, it's for the trip, right? Now, um, let's go outside and look at the pump. Like I said, the price, um, the, 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 the discount should work out after. I don't know how long it takes for discount to work out. I don't know if it's 24 hours. I don't know if it's a one whole day or whatever or two days. But now it's today's Friday, so I guess any discount is gonna work out to be on Monday, I'm guessing. So let's go outside and look. We're gonna see how much per gallon on the pump and on the up we're showing 1.7. So we are going to see if we actually even get the discount or it just was just picture, you know what I mean? Or how it work. Um, definitely I'll, I'll let you guys know because that's what we're doing. We, we're doing everything. You guys already know me already. I don't. I don't mess around, I talk truth, right? So this is it. At the moment, it's showing 476.92, and it is 171 uh, gallons, you know what I mean? And you can see how much is it? No, 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 no. I wasn't seeing this, but here, here what? It, it is showing me this because, um, well, you know what? We're going to work with this. We are seeing 2.8 on there per, per liter, right? Per gallon. But um, I, I saw 2.7 earlier. Or maybe this is for the DEF. I'm not sure. But I saw 2.7 earlier. When the receipt print out, then we will know. But for now, we're going to put the DEF in. But this is what, we show, what we're getting now for... Anyway. Try stars. Okay, so this is how much I get in um, DEF, $38. And that's how much I get per gallon. Let me look at the, the, the receipt now. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we get, yeah, okay, so it's $2.7 per gallon for the fuel and it's two dollar point nine for the um the DEF so overall we have five hundred and fifteen dollars here so that's what's going on peeps that's what's going on that's the fuel that I take so we're gonna see how the discount work out and then for more videos like this please subscribe thanks for joining me so yes peeps this is it this is how my needle is looking full to the brim and the DEF full to the brim everything else is okay um, yeah that's it I need to get that fog lamp fixed but anyway we're doing fuel fuel okay you two so I'm, I'm here in Utah um, my first trip to Utah by the way and I'm seeing some people leave from their houses and come out to write a big sign to say thank you to all truckers right now it, it looked very impressive because they leave from where they are and come at the truck stop to do this or to thank us. So I'm just gonna show you guys what's going on. Put my camera right here. and not 
you know, viewing this wonderful scenery. You know what I mean? It's not every time you get to see nature in this format, right? And to how the world is running now, I mean, you gotta take take it while it while it lasts, right? No, in terms of trucking and places that I go, Utah is and Montana would pass for one of the most beautiful states I've been in terms of scenery and the vision of I don't know what what, what you're what you're able to see. You know what I mean? Nice beautiful road. I'm driving on the I-80. Uh, the breeze is refreshing and um, the view is. I just like it, you know what I mean? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. But anyway, Utah, I, you know, it's, it's a place to be. So all truckers, you should um, make a trip here if you can. It worthwhile, you know what I mean? It's, it's fun when you can drive and you can see all these beautiful places and then you, you have um, places that you can stop and do more viewing, you know what I mean? And also, it's like, I don't know. I don't know, I love it. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Notice the boy Troy Star Trucking. And like I said, I'm just being I'm just I'm just enjoying the moment. I love it, right? YouTube Troy Stars, Troy Stars Trucking. Um, this is the following day of my fuel consumption. So same trip. Um, so I stopped at a pilot on in uh, oh, why, um, Wyoming because I was I ran out of hours. Now I have hold on. I just put in the the border, but I I should put in where I'm going. Sorry about that. Let me tell you guys how many miles I have leave. So, um, I'm going here. Compare the routes. Put it in. And this is showing me two. The, the border that I want is not this one. Proceed to the highlighted route. Let me change this. Avoid this border. Press OK, then it will give me the one that I need. And proceed to the highlighted route. Detroit, that's where I want to go. So I have 1797 miles remaining. And you guys know I start off with uh what was it? 2280 something. Um I'm gonna when I'm in in um when i'm editing i'm gonna make sure i also okay now here you know this is how many fuel i have left I, I i do three quarter fuel so i um i have three quarter tank of fuel leave and this is the miles um i have here so i'm gonna write down this mile so at the ending of the videos at the, at the ending of this video, I will give you all the mileage and all the stops. Well, may, may not be all the stops, but all the mileage, you know what I mean? So I'm going to write down this mileage. So you guys, I'm put it on the screen so you guys could see or uh, work it out yourself to see how much I burn per liter or per gallon um, from where I started from to where I'm at at the moment. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And like I said, it's the following day and I'm kind of late because... 
uh, I never overslept. I was download my editing app wasn't working for some reason, so I had to buy a new one. I don't know what happened. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Try to I know. I know. I know. YouTube um, try stars again now as you can probably tell I'm at a fuel station now this is not like I'm running out of fuel half, half tank but even though I'm doing a documentation of the fuel I'm still when I'm driving I'm still looking for the cheaper fuel now right here at the same brand called brothers um, snap brothers right here they have the fuel for one one dollar six cents right so one dollar six cents per liter so i choose to stop to pull my tap off right i know i can show me belly bigger not eat good not one not two i'm talking three good you move shaky you play me you only breach good try this on me you owe me you should have schemed good now i got you all right hot girl summer had to put you on nice Talking on my ear, mm, alright. She just want the Louis by the guy from off white, right? Rest under my pillow, not see good. LA on to the choker so she can see good. Yes, now, now that I've finished fuel up, I'm gonna document everything on paper so we can finish up what we are doing later, right? No drill, I roll, roll, roll. No drip, it's a river, I roll, roll, roll. I know. trucking so I'm here at the border in uh, Detroit the one that I told you guys I'm gonna cross um, I'm at the fuel station which will be uh, the duty the duty free basically and you you guys already know that I like to cross at this border based on the price of the fuel now the price of the fuel right now at the current moment is one uh, one dollar seven cents Per gallon um, so this is where I'm gonna fill my truck now at the moment you can see I have half tank of fuel at the current moment you know what I mean I have a couple more well let me make sure put in the address because I just put in to come to the border at the moment so let me put in the address to, okay so at the current moment um I uh basically I have five hundred and eighty three miles to complete this journey. Right? So um I'm gonna fill up the truck and then let you guys know how much money I spend to get this tank full. So whatever I don't think here I will be getting any discount. I don't think at this station or, or at this fuel pump I'll be getting any discount. So, because whatever you see, that's whatever you pay, you know what I mean? So, the 1.7 that liter that, that I saw is what the pump says. So, let me show you guys. So, I don't think I'm getting any discount from Landstar here. So, this is it. You, you guys can see it? Hold on. Okay. Alright. That, that's it at the moment. 1.76. Um, so I'm gonna fill my tank up ladies and gentlemen and then we're gonna take it from there so yeah this is TriStar tuning in and like I said I'm at the border right now and I'm finishing up the fuel, the fuel consumption that I promised you guys so that's what I'm doing so I'm putting, as soon as I, I finish fuel up I'm gonna let you guys know how much it costs you know what I mean 
and yeah that's it thanks for tuning in okay peeps so this is what's happening on the pump as you can see so I got same thing okay so let's uh, finish up this journey um, so so far uh, 583 miles to get to destination I started off with 2316 miles so yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm I'm on, a, I'm on a roll so let's go in and then we figure out how everything went and we do the maths right so thanks for tuning in you know the boy tries to like struck it YouTube try stars try stars trucking thanks for tuning in guys I get to my destination by the way I, I uh, let me tell you guys what happened I did a reset in Ontario 36 hours because I was running out of hours based on the time you know what I mean so I did a reset in Ontario got my hours back I already informed brokers and everything before I got the load that I was gonna do a reset in in, in Canada you know what I mean so that's what I did and now I'm at destination so you guys know how I already started and this is the fuel consumption how much I burn right um, this is the amount of miles I have leave 27 right I'm delivering tomorrow based on my apartment that was set and um this is the amount of fuel i have leave you know you guys know i fill up at the border in detroit uh fill full up to the brim and this is the fuel that i have leave in the truck at the moment based on the needle gauge so i'm gonna and that that's the def i have from i just started in utah that's the def that that's leave right i didn't fill my DF tank after that no that being said, I'm going to work everything out by the ending of this video. I'm just going to write down back everything, put it all in notes, all in numbers. I'm just I'm just going ahead to show you guys what's up just in case you're doing it manually by yourself without listening to my numbers. You're doing your own calculation so you will see for yourself. So yes, that's what's happening. That's what's happening at the moment. Um, part now, I'm going to deliver it tomorrow. So just call it my trip is complete. So I'm going to complete, I'm going to complete this video right after, well, the next well i'm gonna just put the numbers together i'm gonna to write down all the notes on my notepad like i was already doing and uh, but yeah we're gonna take it from there so i just want to tell you guys thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and please leave your comment on everything what you think what you like what you don't like what should happen whatever try stars peace thank you guys for still being here thank you guys for taking it all the way to the ending uh, we are going to discuss some numbers. Now, this is the part we're going to get more into numbers. I make sure I have everything down. I uh, I don't know if you, you guys can understand this writing or if you guys can even see it. But uh, this is what's happening now. We're going to go through the numbers. We're going to break down everything. I'm going to tell you guys uh, all that take place and plus numbers, right? Now, first thing I'm going to go ahead and say is Landstar fuel really and truly makes sense, right? And if okay, you know what? Let's let's go through the numbers first, right? Now I start off all this. Uh, I start off this full trip with the, the mileage. I'm gonna tell you the mileage that I start with: one million six hundred and sixty-four thousand three hundred and 14 kilos that's what we start off with and we end the mile we end we end in my um kilo because it's not mile it's kilo is one million six hundred and sixty five thousand six hundred and eighty four um oh you you guys are following and when you take away the ending mile the the starting mile to the ending mile we get three thousand 800 um km that's what we get from starting to ending and when you when we put the kilo in miles it is 2361 miles now i know the gps uh tell us that we're gonna get there with 2309 miles which is it's really 2361 uh, miles 
And this is from the truck. This is when they take away the starting mile to the ending mile on the truck. So, you know, the GPS can be accurate. The, no, the GPS can give you the mileage. The phone will give you the mileage. But the truck, that numbers will give you the accurate wheel spin mileage. You know what I mean? So this is more in-depth and correct. We start off this trip. This, this load was 3,600 as a starting point. I already know how much the load was paying, but in the video, I already tell you guys, I'll show you guys why I'm doing this load and why it would make sense for me not to sit down, but to continue with this load. Now let's get into the numbers. Now, when, when we went to the first fuel station, we, we, uh, we, I went there with, uh, in between quarter to less than less than less than a half in between quarter and a half I was there with fuel so I fill up right there and it cost me five hundred and fifteen dollars at that pump right on Landstar hat before I get there it was one dollar and seventy two cents right on the pump itself that they were originally selling for without the Landstar discount it would have been two dollars and 78 cents per gallon right that's if you're just buying fuel overall without any discount from landstar complete that's a 515 that's what you would spend hands down including the year and i save with landstar i save 181 dollars and 54 cents which is a huge savings in my opinion and i originally paid 333 dollars so it really that app landstar app to answer the question that i start off this with landstar app really make sense right um the next stop that i went was another snap brothers in um i think it was where, where was um nebraska i think it was nebraska um right there was my second fuel stop not second stop second fuel stop one 133 gallons and that came up on the pump it was 313 dollars and 54 cents and i saved 96 dollars from that fuel station and it cost me overall $217. So I, I paid $217 at that pump from the Landstar app, right? So it was a huge savings, um, tremendous in my opinion, you know what I mean? And our third stop for fuel was at the Canadian border, which I spent $200 48 241 dollars there were there weren't any discount from landstar up because right there we don't pay any any tax on the fuel or anything like that and it is uh re it's always reasonable you guys know this if you watch my channel upon you watch my channel so you guys know i always like to stop there because of the price of the fuel so we didn't get any discount there from the landstar up but it was reasonably good so we didn't really really I would take it if I get it, but we didn't really need a discount. Now, um, let's get into some overall fuel, right? So, the overall fuel that I burned without Landstar discount was one thousand and seventy dollars. That was my overall fuel that I burned, right? What what I paid one thousand and seventy U.S. dollars for, and with the Landstar discount uh i get 278 dollars savings so i take away that from the 1070 dollars so i spend 792 dollars on fuel with landstar discount um so that helped me in the long run right now let's let's look at the side let's look at the numbers if landstar di discount didn't apply how much I would make so this is it three thousand six hundred for the, the, the load itself right 
$1,070 for fuel, okay? So we take away that from the 3,600, we get $2,529.80, right? Um, Landstar, 35% uh, take out of the $2,529 will leave $1,644.37. So that's what, that's how much I would made or make if Landstar discount didn't apply. That's how much I would make for five days run, right? $1,000. Six hundred and forty-four dollars for five days, one week. Okay, um, let's apply Landstar discount to this one now. Uh, if Landstar discount apply, which would be the two hundred and seventy-eight dollars, would add in to the one thousand six hundred and forty-four. Will give you one thousand nine hundred and sixty-eight dollars. So with Landstar discount coming out of the 3600 i would take I, I did take home 1968 dollars right um so let's talk about this a little bit more right because there's some stuff i want to discuss okay um this trip take me five days to get to destination right and um like i said with or without Landstar discount, I mean, for a trip like this, it should have never been that low in the first place, you know what I mean? Because what if something did happen, did happen when I was driving in, then I will be coming in broke, right? But like I said before, I wanted to move from the destination that I, the, the, the destination, the, the hero that I was, I wanted to move to get into Canada. So I chose to take a load based on the load that I get to go to Calgary. So you win some, you lose some. But that was a whole, whole lot of miles, you know what I mean, I have to put in just to get here. But you guys let me know what you think about this run. Let me know if you would do something like this. Let me know if this is, you know, you know the type of money you would settle for. Let me know if... If I did good with the with the old trip, you know what I mean. Let me know what you really think, you know. Um, and for and to answer the question again, the Landstar fuel discount is very good. I mean, it saved me some money to get, you know, to satisfy myself basically because I did fuel Landstar take. Well, the 35% from the 2600 was 910 dollars So 910 dollars went to Landstar from the money. You know what I mean? And, you know, we can't really complain about Landstar percent because without, if Landstar didn't take that percent, we'd have to pay that percent over, you know what I mean? In terms of insurance, in terms of broker fee, in, term, in terms of, you know, paperwork, running rights, license plate, the old work, you know what I mean? So the Landstar percent is understandable you know what i mean but the only problem that i have at times is the the rate that the rate that the brokers are putting out loads for because in my opinion i think they are getting more for these type of loads but they are putting it out for less and no one is following up like catching up on them or choose to catch up on them and you know, it, it, it is taking taking time coming to be a problem and it's going to come out soon, you know what I mean? It's going to come out soon. I'm going to tell you one thing here that happened to me. This is off the grid. This is this is not with this anymore. We finished talking about that. I'm just going to let you know what happened to me once when I was running. And this happened like, if you guys remember the trip that I went on when I was in... Colorado yes and I told you guys I was sitting down in Colorado for four days now I got a load from Colorado and the load was paying well the load was paying four thousand five hundred dollars but it was two thousand five hundred miles 
right? Um, all other miles. And anyway, I was there for four days. So I said, you know what? I can't sit here for a week because I know enough guys would be like, you know what? Sit down until you get a, a good load. But when you have bills to pay, sitting down, you will just spend all the money that you have saved. And something you can't really work with that. You know what I mean? So what happened was when I took that load and I and I get to um when I, when I when I get the load and I went to pick it up um someone made a mistake by giving me the broker invoice not the invoice for the load the broker invoice cuz what happened is they give me the paperwork but they forgot to put the custom invoice in there so I went back in there and asked for the custom invoice but they give me all the invoice that they have because they didn't sure which one was the custom invoice and on the broker invoice and the broker invoice is the one they're the one that get the load first they're the one that book the load basically um get the load win the load bid for the load accept it paid for the load i think or pay us for the load and then collect after now on that invoice the load was paying seven thousand three hundred dollars seven thousand three hundred us dollars and on the invoice could tell you everything in detail that this to truck is seven thousand three hundred I, I have all paperwork so anything I, I say to you guys right now i can back it up with because when when you send in bill to landstar you keep the original you send the copies that you have so i have all my bills so whatever i'm saying to you guys right now i already I have the paperwork for it so this is not no makeup story it was seven thousand three hundred and some change for the load and i and and the broker took what the broker took to be accurate the broker took three two thousand eight hundred dollars from that load you know what i mean and give so that's like oh my goodness by the time I do fuel and pay Landstar and all that, there's nothing much really leave from that load. You know what I mean? So the broker is making more money than you that is out there with your truck. You know what I mean? And this is proof. And I I call Landstar on it. Don't think I didn't. I call Landstar on it. And the reason why I know that Landstar know about this, when I when I spoke to the BCO advisor, when I spoke to the person, tell him the paperwork that I'm having and the response was you weren't supposed to get that paperwork honestly that's what they said to me and I didn't mention it on my channel or anything this is the first time I mentioned it and that was the reason why I leave the flatbed company that I was working with before because I got a, a paperwork like one of those before and when I get into the office and talk about it and whatever whatever they did go ahead and said they made a mistake and they did pay me but after that it's like the load is getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper now I don't like these type of things and this type of thing break my vibes put me back into like a zone that I, I don't want to be in, you know what I mean? So I have to kind of free my mind for a bit and say, you know what? Let me just continue out this journey until I pick something better or try to do something better. But I was telling you this, that it is going on and we know that this thing is going on. And like I said, when they asked me, when they said to me, you are not supposed to get the paperwork, that's when I realized that Landstar know about what's going on too. Because they would have never, what I was expecting is that they would tell me, email me that paperwork that you're talking about or something like that to, you know, in that way, in my mind, I would say, okay, they, they don't know about what's going on then, but they told me I wasn't supposed to get that paperwork. So that, that being said, they know. So I'm just telling you guys this to say, we are in a, uh, we're in something deep when we come out here to do trucking and the the, the we, 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 to solve this we think we need a union in the trucking industry so that people cannot underbid 
people cannot rob us everything would run straight but for some reason i don't know why they're taking so long to put uh union into trucking i guess you know whosoever is at, at the top cut that out because whatever we're not gonna get straight too far with this this is for a different reason i'm just letting you guys know that sometime when a load is that cheap or whatever it's more behind it you know what i mean because you know what we're gonna cut this video right here um please leave me a comment guys and thanks for tuning in you know it's a boy Troy stars trucking right and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and if you like this channel or if you like the information that you get in this video please leave me a thumbs up please give me a like on this video you know what i mean and last but not least follow me on instagram you know it's Troy stars at Troy stars on instagram peace respect and thank you guys for joining in For more videos like this, please subscribe.